Hi, welcome back to uh, Get It Done Home Repairs. Uh, today, as you can see, our cabinets did come in. We have our new cabinets right here. Uh, now you're probably wondering why that door is off, because I actually started taking it off and I figured I'd probably film this and I'll show you what to do so you have a better idea as well. One thing we're going to do is we're going to take the doors off the cabinets because we do have to join the cabinets together so we need to have the cabinets a little bit lighter and we need to match it up exactly so we need to put a clamp on it which I'll show you. It's actually a clamp like this that we're going to use to, uh, to join the uh, two cabinets together. We put the clamp on the cabinet, squeeze it together and it holds the cabinets together while we drill. But we'll get into this in just a minute. Uh, so we are going to take the doors off. Um, you're probably looking at a level here now, and you're looking at a piece of wood, and you're thinking, what is that all about? Well, what I'm going to do is, on the wall itself here, these cabinets are actually 39 inches in length. Um, we are going to have crown molding up top, and the crown molding is about 2 and 5 eighths to 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the cabinet down on the wall about 2 inches to, uh, to leave room for the crown molding to attach to the top of the cabinet, and then mount up to the ceiling itself. So that's going to give us probably about a little less than three quarters of an inch to nail the crown molding to the cabinet once it's up. So that's why you're going to see it's going to be a, a two inch gap up on the top. So we're going to bring the cabinets down. We measured down 39 inches plus the two inches for the molding. So we measured down 41 inches and we put a mark on the wall all the way across the wall and then we put our level on the mark to make sure that the marks... Okay, so now we're going to take the board and we're going to bring it... Like I said, we had the level, we put it on those marks there to make sure that the cabinet line is going to be perfectly level. Now, you could, you could lift the cabinets up and try to hold them in place, but that's, it's, it, they're pretty heavy and they're a little awkward for, to hold up there. So what I do is I take a board like this. It's an old piece of scrap that I had laying around, and I'll bring it up into the bottom of these marks that I have right here. We'll screw this board onto the wall, and now when we take the cabinets, we lift the cabinets up, sit it up on top of the board here, and then we push it against the wall, and then I can screw the screws into it. All right, so I already put the screws into the wood here, so we're going to line it up with the studs here. So let me get it screwed onto the studs, and then we'll go right back. Okay, so we have the screw in now. We're going to get these other screws screwed in just to hold the board. And you want to make sure that you're into that beam nice and solid. Alright, so now that um, the piece of wood is now mounted to the wall, so now we can set our cabinets up on top of this and it'll, it'll be you know, fairly sturdy while we mount it up on the wall. Uh, I will tell you this, having a, 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 a screwdriver that's uh, pretty powerful to screw the screws in does save you time. If you don't have an electric uh, screwdriver, you can do it by hand. It's a little more work, but uh, you know, you can do that. All right, so now that we, uh, we have our board mounted, we take our level, put our level on top, and make sure that it's level right here, which as you can see, it is. So now we're going to take our cabinets, we're going to mount them up on the top over here, and then we're going to, we're going to measure where the beams are, and we're going to pre-drill the cabinet so that the screws can screw directly into the beams. So let me get this all set up, and I'll look right back. Okay, now as you can see, we have the cabinet up, we have most of the screws in. We're going to put the last couple of screws in the bottom here, and then this cabinet will be done, and then we're going to move over, and we're going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to lift this cabinet up, put it on this board, we're going to clamp them together, and then we'll screw it into the wall. But let me finish this off, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll do this one here as well. Okay, so that's it. This cabinet is finished. We have it on, on the board the way it's supposed to be, nice and level. We did take a level already, put the level on the end here and here and put it against the side here to make sure everything is level and plumb and uh, we're going to continue with this one here. So let's put this up on here and then we're going to clamp it together and then we'll, uh, we'll make sure that it goes together correctly. Okay, um, now the manufacturer actually gives you four screws to put these cabinets up but on the back of this cabinet there's actually uh, three pieces of wood that go from the bottom all the way across the bottom here on top here 
and down on the uh, on the other side. All right, so that's why I elected to put in six screws to hold this on because, as you can see, it's a very long cabinet. All right, let's get the other one up in place and uh, we'll continue. Okay, now that we have our second cabinet mounted up on the wall, we have the four screws holding it in place. We are going to put two more in the center, just so you know, but we didn't do it yet. Um, we actually left the screws loose on this side over here so that we could make sure that the cabinets are even on the bottom and the face here is perfectly even as well. So now we have it even on the bottom here and we have it flush right here. We put our clamps on it, clamped it together, and now we're going to drill a hole in here and in here and we're going to screw it together with a screw such as that. It's actually tapered on the end right here so that way it'll, it'll be countersunk into the wood and you won't even see it. Alright, so let me just drill it out and uh, I'll show you how that goes. Now you want to drill through this piece of wood right here but you don't want to drill all the way into this one here. So we're just going to drill partially through. Okay, now that we drill partially through, we're going to screw the screw in. That'll join the two cabinets together. Okay, so that's the one. We're going to do the exact same, same thing up on the top right here, so uh, let me do that. Okay, um, we are actually going to stop with the upper cabinets because the one cabinet that was going to go up in this corner over here has got some damage done to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to discontinue working on the upper, even though I like to get the upper cabinets done first before I put the base cabinets in. In this case we have no choice because that's going to take about three weeks for me to get that replacement cabinet. So we are going to wait for doing the rest of the work on the uppers, but these are actually mounted up there and they're finished. This door is actually off because once we get the new cabinet, we have to screw them together. That's why this door is off here. Um, but now we're going to go down to the base cabinets and we're going to put the base cabinets in. So as you can see, we have the cabinets in here already. We're going to take these cabinets, bring them over into the, uh, the corner over here. Okay, so we're going to put the base cabinets in. We're going to take the cabinets now, we're going to put them in, and then we're going to take our level and put a level on top of it to make sure that it's, uh, that it's actually nice and level across the top from front to back and left to right. So uh, I am going to have my assistant help me because these are pretty heavy. We're going to lift this in, put it in place, and then we're going to find the studs in the wall. In this case, we're going to be using a stud finder. Any stud finder will do. You just want to make sure that when you put your cabinet in, that you screw it directly into a beam. So that's what we're going to do. We know there's a stud right here, and there should be one 16 inches away from it, but we're going to find out for sure, mark the wall, set the cabinet in, and then we're going to screw it in place. So uh, let me set this in here, and then we'll come back once we screw it in. Okay, now that we laid the base units in here where we wanted them to be, we actually made sure that the floor was level with our, our, our level to make sure which now it is, we shimmed up this one corner back over here because this was the lower part of the floor to make it nice and even across the top. Then we drilled a hole right inside here and here and we put a shim behind it so that we didn't pull this in and bend the wood out of, uh, out of, uh, its, its, um, out of its shape because uh, the wall itself is a little bit bowed inside here. Alright, so now that we have these two screwed in here, we came down on the bottom and we put our clamps on the bottom right here. We pulled our cabinets together and just like we did on the top units over here, we drilled a small hole in the side right here um, through into here and then we put a self-tapping screw from here into here to join the two cabinets together. So we did that on the, on the bottom here and we did it up here as well. Uh, I am going to put another one on this side here and this side here to make sure it stays nice and tight. Then we're going to come over here. We marked our beam on the wall here and here, and we're going to drill a small hole here and here, and then we're going to screw it in. So uh, let me drill the holes in there, and I'll show you how it goes. Done? Yep. Okay, and we're just going to drill a small hole in the wood. center of 
the beam you want to drill it. Okay, now that we, we drill the hole here in the beam and, and here, the beam is directly behind it. Now we're going to take our screws that secure the cabinets to the wall. Now I will tell you this, most of the time cabinets come with the screws that you need, but if it doesn't come with the screws, make sure you use something with a flat head like this. It holds it in there much tighter. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our level out of here. We do not need a shim here. You can see how tight it is. And we do not need a shim here. Uh, maybe a very small shim right there. Alright, let's, let's screw them in place. it together here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring our third cabinet in. We're going to place it in position over here and once we have it back in position then we're going to drill holes through here and screw it back together. So let me put this in place and then we'll come right back. Okay. okay so now we have the cabinet laid back in there. We have the clamps holding it together here so that everything is is flush here and everything is flush on the bottom here and on top here. So now we're going to drill this in so we can screw the cabinet faces together. Okay, now what I do, I don't, uh, I, I use a countersink to sink the uh, drill bit, I mean to sink the screw back in a little bit because you can see how that screw is tapered slightly. So what I do is I actually countersink the wood so that this screw sets in there recessed. And if you don't have something to countersink it, you can just use a drill bit and you can just see which drill is the one that you want to use for it. Because as you can see, this is the diameter of the head and that's the taper of this part right here. So we're going to do that real quick and then we'll screw these cabinets together. Okay, so now we have that countersunk. We're going to take our screw and we're going to join the cabinets together here. Okay, now we'll come around the side here. Now I am going to put another screw up inside here, but I'm not putting it in yet because I need to take these clamps off. But before I take these clamps off, I want to screw it in this way. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to recess these screws a little bit. Same here. See now the screw head is, is flush with the wood so you can't even see it. Alright, so now that these are screwed together, let's put the screws in the backsplash over here where it, where it bolts up to the wall and, um, and we'll be pretty much all set. So let me grab some screws. As you can see, we did drill the holes here right into the middle of the beam. So let's put these in. So that's it. One bank of cabinets down here is all done. So uh, once we get the replacement cabinets here, then we'll come back and we'll put those back on. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go over to the corner over here, and we're going to put that last cabinet in the corner next to the other side of the refrigerator. So uh, stick around. 